video i am going to discuss about epicenter to measurement okay to discuss about epicenter to measurement let me take one example okay this example is entrepreneur motivation scale a scholar want to study the motivational factors leading a respondent to choose entrepreneurship as a career the scholar prepared a motivation scale with list of reasons that that are leading the respondent to choose entrepreneur as a career he has prepared five statements first statement is be a leader second statement is make my family rich third be an employer fourth best monetary returns for my talent fifth one attaining high social status now he is asking the respondent to rate the importance of the reason on a scale of 1 to 5 1 is not important and 5 is extremely extremely important that leading to choose an entrepreneur as a career now the respondent must read each statement and rate each statement from 1 to 5 this is a likert scale now what is important to understand here is each statement is separately rated they have nothing to compare the first statement is not compared to the second statement each statement is separately read and rated on a scale of 1 to 5 like this so first statement the respondent for example is saying important second he is saying very important third very important fourth one important fifth one slightly important now what we understand here is each statement is given rating from 1 to 5 but not compare this way of rating is called normative measurement this is a traditional personality question in which the individuals are asked to rate their agreement to each statement on a scale of 1 to 5 normative tests are rating tests in which the candidate rate how much they agree with the statement that is strongly agree or strongly disagree or neutral now let us discuss about epicenter to measurement now read this same statements five statements are again given be a leader make my family rich be an employer and best motor return for my talent and fifth one is attain high social rate now the scholar is asking like this read each statement carefully and tick the statement which represent you the best among the statements to choose entrepreneur as a career now what is asking is among this five statements he is asking the respondent to select the best one because in earlier case what happened we are giving to each statement response from 1 to 5 but here we are comparing between one statement to the other statement the respondent in this case have taken be an employer many entrepreneur say the statement i want to be, be my own boss now this is what he want to be an employee this is the first trait or this is the first one that the respondent is expecting this is what we called epicentive measurement epicentive measurements are ranking questions among the five statements among the five statements only one statement is taken and let me discuss this epicentive measurement give the respondent a choice of 2 to 5 equal statements and they must give their preference or agreement to one of them epicentive measurement is also called as forced choice measurement why it is called forced choice because among the five statements any one only can be selected now let us discuss the same thing with other example this is also personality uh, questionnaire read each statement carefully and tick the statement which represent you the best among all the statements five statements are given now the respondent need to read each statement and among these five statements he is going to select the best one so the respondent is going to identify the one statement which is going to suit him the best now for example third he has selected i work hard to accomplish my goal so this is the one which is compared to other this method um, this type of measurement is called epicentive measurement thank you